Have you ever wondered how the changing landscape of immigration policies can shift the dynamics of a nation? Welcome to today's discussion where we delve into the intriguing world of the United Kingdom's migration system. The UK government recently passed a bill aimed at reducing the high influx of migrants. This move marks a significant shift in the UK's immigration policy as it raises the minimum salary threshold for a skilled worker visa and prevents overseas health and social care staff from bringing family dependents to Britain. The Prime Minister's office has boldly described these changes as the biggest clampdown on legal migration ever. However, such a drastic measure has not been without its critics. Concerns have been raised about the potential damage to the National Health Service, currently facing staff shortages. On the political front, immigration is expected to be a key issue in the upcoming nationwide elections. Current projections suggest that the main opposition Labour Party is favoured to win. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has pledged to reduce new arrivals, a promise that has been under scrutiny since net migration to Britain reached a high in the previous year. The Office for National Statistics reported a staggering figure of 745,000 more arrivals than departures last year. This data has prompted the Interior Minister, James Cleverley, to propose a plan that he claims would result in 300,000 fewer people coming to the UK in the coming years. These proposals are set to take effect early next year. Under the new rules, skilled foreign workers seeking a UK visa will have to earn a minimum of £38,700, a significant increase from the previous threshold. However, health and social care workers will be exempt from this requirement but will be prevented from bringing family dependents. Opposition to these changes has been vocal. NHS providers, a representative body for hospital groups in England, expressed deep concern over the potential deterrent for care workers. Care England, a charity representing independent adult social care providers, highlighted the crucial role immigration has played in the social care sector, particularly in light of staff shortages exacerbated by Brexit. The government also plans to increase the surcharge that migrants pay to access the NHS by 66% to £1,035. This proposal has faced criticism for imposing a double charge on migrant workers, who also contribute to healthcare through national insurance charges. In a bid to manage the job market, the government intends to reform the shortage occupation list, detailing jobs for which there is a shortage of British workers. This move follows the Conservative Party's election win in 2019, which was largely based on promises to reduce net migration numbers. Despite the end of free movement from EU member states following Brexit, the UK has seen a surge in regular migration since formally leaving the EU in January 2020. Last year, net migration was reported at 488,000. That's all for today's discussion. 